Music by D-U-D-E. Speak black to me. Speak black to me, a dynamic space of black discourse where we engage in the process of elevating and transforming the mind. This is Mwata Kairi, Kevin Washington in the Gambia, speaking on education and intellectual development. I am here with Mama Fatu, who will talk about the relevance of developing character in the Gambia and how she's been able to use her energy, her intellect, and her insight to create an organization or learning center called ABC, which is about having a better chance learning center, elevating the consciousness of children so that they can be better not only for the Gambia, but be better as a global citizen of the world. When I came back home um, after studying many years in the U United States and uh, France, and finally I decided that I should um, come back and you know give back to my society. <coughs> that formed me and gave me the foundation um, that I had to be able to do what I did up to that point. And one of the first things that um, dawned on to me was the quality um, of uh, education, especially just language, just talking and speaking and expressing yourself with the young people around me. I realized um, there was a big drop downwards. Um, from how we grew up uh, reading early, um, being taught um, phonics and exposed to sounds and I didn't see that happening anymore um, in the schools um, from the bottom. So the results of that for over a period of um, long period of time is actually what I was feeling. And um, so you know I said something has to be done and I wanted to be a part of that. Um, and that's how I started um, um, thinking of uh, um, having a big, huge place, um, space <clears throat> for young people to come to, um, where we could bring resources and adults that um, were interested in helping young people together um, and start putting, um, uh, doing interventions that would give um, the young people around us in schools, especially, um, the tools. Um, for them to grow um, academically and socially because um, we realized um, part of the problem was this, this huge loss of confidence and, and low self-esteem and not believing in themselves so um, we came up with um, um, people that could bring in um, programs to intervene so that they would start talking um, we connected the children to um, other children around the world through um, um, creative connections and such kind of programs where the, the communication is directly from children to children, um, exchanging um, uh, uh, messages and it was like the beginning of computers so you know they could, they could before that actually. So we did like um, recording of videos and having the children talk and show their, their um, own um, um, life in the Gambia and shared it with other young people around the world. So um, basically we come up with um, programs at ABC. We're doing a regular um, country curriculum um, uh, but at the same time with the focus on the after school program what we did was we created our own programs to um, um, uh, help the children learn how to fill the gaps yes between what the, the schools are giving them and what they really need to know but also build them up build their character, give them that strength um, to help them to forge through life and um, grow beyond Gambia, Gambia and beyond Gambia. So we call what you just described digital storytelling. Mm -hmm. So you had your children to engage in digital storytelling mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so they could spread the word in the world about yes. their life here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As an educator, so you started out at what age being an educator? I started right after I finished high school. Um, I uh, talked to my aunt and I said I wanted to teach and um, 
before before uh, you know it she sent me you know to where i should go and to the ministry and i was invited to join the um, teachers program that was being done in service pre-service teachers program um, that was done during those days and uh, from there i was invited to go straight to the college um, so let's go back you said that you were invited yes. not everybody could be invited so you had to have had some high marks to be invited to engage in this process I, I think it went beyond marks. I mean, I don't think anybody looked at grades here. I think it's the person that I presented, this young person that, you know, just no, you know, nothing stopped me from expressing myself and with the language um, so perfect for my age during those times. And, um, and how old I think was that? 16. Mm, 16. <laughs> so you presented at age 16. Yes. That you had the confidence mm -hmm. and the capacity. Yes to be an educator and now you in you get, you get to a program school mm -hmm. people that are probably at 7 16 almost twice your age mm -hmm. and you're in there with them holding your arm yes and you've been <laughs> a mover and shaker for 47 48 47, years 47 48 years i'll be turning yeah. 64 in november so you and still i haven't 16, stopped them so still. i can't even see that <laughs> so this, so continue with your story. So you were in this space educating, I think about how to be an educator, and I want you to see that this is the same philosophy that you use today with ABC, mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. you can be a mover and a shaker. And you yeah. knew it could be done because it was in you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So continue, and, you were saying. Um, mm -hmm. um, that's, that's how we, we motivate and, and inspire the, the children in the center, make them believe that um, they have to, to, to be um, greater than what what, what I am and the other um, staff in the in the um, in the center, and and our kids are, are, are really enjoying their environment and really gaining the strength that we expect them to, um, learning a lot um, as far as the personal development is concerned, and um, learning too that um, whatever they are getting, it's their duty to 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 make sure that they get the younger people in their lives. To become, um, um, be their mentors and make them become more than what they are. So we pay it forward. So you have a, you started ABC, mm -hmm. coming from the states. Mm -hmm. You saw you were inspired by Oprah Winfrey and what you saw with a better chance. Mm -hmm. And you started the Learning Center. Mm -hmm. However, student, students have to pay to come to this school. Yes. Um, so not when, when, when you stopped, you didn't have any any, any funds. How were you able to? get this learning center started with um, limited funds I uh, actually ended up taking serious risks um, <laughs> um, to accepted um, help from a friend of mine who was doing business between Gambia and Europe um, and he was the one who said to me if you you need furniture and classroom stuff, you know, I can bring it and then you can pay um, slowly. Um, I said, go ahead and I gave him what I wanted and he did, he brought it. So I actually had people help me that way. So I took the risk of taking people's materials and, um, and, um, and then, you know, the center was paying very little, only $150, it was a token just, just to be there. But luckily, um, I, I, I got um, introduced to Ashoka International and um, um, I had to go through um, selection process, a very, very um, tough one, but um, I got in as an Ashoka Fellow. And um, the Ashoka stipend, actually, um, which is supposed to be salary for me to take care of myself whilst I'm taking care of others, is what I took and invested it into the, into the project. And then a whole bunch of friends of mine were really very, very, very happy that I was doing what I was doing. Um, in the Gambia, those that I went to school with, I went to college with. Um, so they were, um, I, the first um, time I went back to the U.S. for three years, gathering resources. And then I came back with my containers and, you know, set up the environment. But after um, a while, my friends who knew what I was doing to get those materials were getting it and sending it to me. So up to this day, um, I received barrels and barrels of um, school materials um, so sent you, by friends. You gathered these all yourself, but let's, let's ask you this question, right? Mm -hmm. How are you able to eat in the game, right? <laughs> how, how did it work out? As, as I tell people, this is, this is Gambia and probably Africa. Um, uh, I have um, a whole lot of friends and family members that would cook and send me food in the center. I would eat and the children would eat too. Um, 
So basically, um, um, that's how I, I, I manage with the help of family and friends. That's why we say the, 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 the center is, is not only for children, it's for everybody. Um, adults, um, staff members, non-staff members. Um, so uh, I had a lot of help um, from friends and family and that's how I was able to eat for three years. And um, then uh, after that, I had um, uh, met um, Samantha, who is um, dad um, and mom were actually also um, beneficiaries of um, a better chance in the US and um, they also um, took charge after I've, uh, Ashoka finished its three years of sponsorship they took over and sponsored me for another three years um, until all my loans were paid and, and, and you know I became um, free I could say <laughs> at that point um, yeah so basically that's it a big family came in. The village came in to save me. So what is the philosophy of ABC? ABC believes that um, every child um, needs a better chance. Every child should be given an opportunity um, to grow, um, not only uh, um, academically, but um, um, side by side social development. And um, so we work with um, um, character development, um, uh, motivating and inspiring um, young people uh, to be ready to serve, to grow properly so that they can get ready to serve society. Mm -hmm. So how can somebody support and help ABC in the Gambia? Um, like I said, the difference, we're making a difference because of the materials. We're able to bring in resources. Um, so resource gathering, um, like right now, our, our major um, need is to change our computers. We've had them for a very long time. They're not functioning very well right now. So that's an immediate need. Um, but basically resources, if we have the resources. Such as pencils, paper. All of them, all of them, crayons, markers, okay. um, you know, readers, mm. um, especially African um, writers readers mm. um, and african-american the whole african mm -hmm. african-american and african from the continent mm. um, because you know most of the we get books from us from uk and um, most of the books that are coming in um, the literature part um, doesn't have much of african literature mm -hmm. so there's a big huge gap um, when you walk into the library you'll see everything textbooks and, and reader, but not much um, of um, african writers mm. um, so you know, buying, I buy from Timbuktu once mm -hmm. on a while, especially when we do book, book week, you know, we mm -hmm. have these programs, book week is one of them. And, um, you know, you would have a, a, a box, small box, and it will cost you like, you know, $20,000, you know, so it's, it's not feasible to try to do it that way. Mm -hmm. So I think if we can have, I don't know, from publishers, from people donating and stuff, African um, literature. Okay. Um, readers for um, children from preschool all the way to, to um, um, high school. Okay. Uh, so, content, literature, mm -hmm. uh, is one of the things that's needed, mm -hmm. uh, but also your love and your support mm -hmm. to facilitate the growth and humanity of uh, the people in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. Mama Fatu says her institution is about building character. Mm -hmm. And character is the thing that continues long after we're no longer here. The idea of a character in a play is a character has a particular way of being and functioning. Mm -hmm. You identify that person, or you talk about a letter being a character. A letter is a character because it has a particular way of functioning to create the words. The idea of character building is how one begins to sustain themselves, to present themselves in the world such that they are actually better humans. So she's here creating better humans for all of African humanity. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that we get people that look like the children in books, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. people that look like the children in education, in curriculum, yeah. but people that look like the children also in the context of people with good character. Mm -hmm. Speak black to me. Mm -hmm.
Good morning, school. Good morning, teachers. Good morning, teachers. Good morning, teachers. I have the privilege to welcome the guests. You're welcome to a better chance planning center. And then we have we prepared something to show the uh, guests. And I hope you will like it. the world's biggest enemy. You have destroyed our lives and left our happiness, and you have torn the world around. Today, from the sky, the world is on the ground. When again, with the tables torn around, you have changed all couples to new widows, yet your bullet of death continues to fire and kill the old and the sick. Our kitchens are graced to zero. Mom is our mirror, but all grasses within are brown. Dad, our hero, yet you are measured, measured, and stopping from the green land. COVID-19, will you kill us all? You will not. We are going to heal from you, and we will win. We have pills against you, pills that will make us chill again. His rebels are fever, dry cough, and fatigue. Fix your face masks. COVID-19 is an airborne. Practice social distancing, even in family instances. This is the science for COVID-19 science. Wish you all with a war with success. Together, we can fight COVID-19. Fight! 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 The victory is ours. Thank you. Next we have Manima Manima Saho. Manima. I just saw you soon, mommy, by you one. Do you go to your refuge on your own? The many did you buy you soon, you young. Buga ask a new loon you mouta. Gambia. I let your son you soon, mommy, by you one. Dig din dan bolo wante na hante bugan te sopo ante tia wante wai tayi da fa super le community di tonga lante di re ante nen fa hebe sete tal sun holi repe tal sun jeffi bolo ne kaben hada wai abata kan mo ba nyu fa kan kati mo nyu mutai bang bang journal kafu mi fam fam si fa tam fa so mo kung gambia kati ni fa mo mandi koti iba mo mukas in koti manja ko saru le suru aflo wale te jola. What to Aling and Yomuta, the Gambia foot and the Anita foot and the Dami, now a fun and a walk along cutting, cutting, cannon to solve forgotten, forgotten, and cutting Catala Cataca, or Bamboo Sidanyat. Kawajula got the book on a Kujaku, book on a Tupacola, Harley Imogen Congotu. A travelism on Shalgar and Gambia, the travelism on Lompal Plaza de la Gambi, no sub to the grand family, and it did the Palais and Soltai discriminatory. Gone are the days when a smile wasn't just an extension of the lips, but a medium of warmth from the heart. Every now and then we call ourselves the smiling coast of Africa, but these smiles are fading, people are dying, the economy is draining. What we fail to realize is that we are failing. Let us put an end to this segregation. Discrimination has no place in this nation. Our mouths have become open of mass destruction. It is causing devastation. Let us stop the intimidation, indignation, gratification, agitation, alienation, agitation. Democracy has become Democracy has been transformed to media democracy. Freedom of speech has been abused. People think they can insult other people's parents or chaps and go scot free. Social media has made it unnecessary for us to lock our doors and shut our windows, for everything is put to the surface within 24 hours. Privacy has been intruded. News has been deluded. Nudes have been shared or reposted. Where have we lost our ethics of respect? If you were relatives to those victims, would you do that to them? Ethnocentrism has led to antagonism. The thought of it gives me a hippie jibbers. Everybody looks at their child as superior and looks down on others as inferior, but we are all equal under the answer of like was law. As Henry Ford said, by the, man is ready to, by the time the man, a man is ready to graduate from a university of experience, he is already too old to work. So let us do things at the right time before it goes out of bounds. Let us sieve out the misconception. Misconceptive misconcept, views the whole of us. Let us stop pointing fingers. He who starts it knows it, not he who, and he who feels it knows it, and he who feels it knows it better. We are one big family, one Gambia, one tribe. Thank you. Good morning, proprietors, um, distinguished guests, head teacher, teachers, and my fellow students. We, the grade nines, are here to act a short skit in, entitled Independence. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy. Good day everyone, this is ECV, it's your boy E-Boy and welcome back to E-Boy Street Talk. Today we are here in the beautiful streets of Banjul, where I am going to be asking questions to passers-by regarding the independence of the Gambia. So join E-B in the streets of Banjul. Okay. E-Boy, us, don't try to run, boy. 
Don't worry. Just come answer the question. Yeah, the question is under the heart. It's about the independence of the Gambia. And the first one is when did the Gambia gain its independence? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Iba, mm -hmm. I've learned this since grade four. So, you know, I'm the type that when something happens, and I'm under the table, I'm under the chairs. But never mind, let me answer your question. It is in the heart. It's on um, 18 February. Nineteen ninety nine. Yes, it's eight for uh, eighteen February nineteen ninety nine. Okay, maybe you try better in the next question. So when did the Gambia become a republic? That's a simple question. It's just this twenty twenty. <laughs> better look next time. Right now we are approaching a young beautiful lady. School girl, what is your name? My name is Asia Tijami. Asia Tijami. And what school do you attend? I'm attending a Better Chance Learning Center. A Better Chance Learning Center. So today I have questions to ask you about the Gambia's independence. Yes. And the first one is, when did the Gambia gain its independence? Independence. 18 February 1965. Good! Now, when did the Gambia become a republic? Republic, republic, republic. I think I know. 24th of April, 1970. Nice. Keep up the good work at school. <laughs> now we are finally reached the end of the show, and we are lucky enough to get an answer from one of the people that we asked. And the question for today were, when did the Gambia gain its independence? It was on the 18th of February, 1965. And the second question was, when did the Gambia become a republic? You was on the 24th of April, 1970. That is all we have for you today, and I'll see you all next week on this channel. Peace. Ma, where's yes. this old woman? Ma. Yes. My son, you are back? Yes, I'm back. How was it today? It was fair, but on my way from it, it was not fair. Oh. I met up with this girl, this girl on um, ETV. That girl, uh, e -boy. E -boy? Yes, e -boy. Oh. He asked me a question about the uh, Gambia independence girl. I could answer the question. I And look, it was very embarrassing. And look, all the people, um, all the people that are in Gambia and abroad, all of them, uh, what is that? Yeah, all watching. And you cannot answer the question. So please, if you know anything about the um, Gambia independence girl, can you please tell me what it is? My son, no. the Gambia had a peaceful transition to independence on 18 February 1965. In 1963, two years prior to independence, the, the United Kingdom granted the country internal self-government. The Duke and the Duchess of Kent traveled to commemorate the event, which celebrated the end of 300 years of colonial rule. The royal couple, representing the Queen, joined the, the, the Prime Minister, Sadora Kerabha Jawara, and the, and, the, uh, and the governor, Sir John Paul, in the Mansa Bengo, meaning the Gallery of Kings, where Gambia Jews were seated. The oldest chief, Ture Sanya, was said to have thanked the United, the United Kingdom for its help in the transition to independence. Which are, uh, the, the traditional ceremony took place in Prikama, one of the largest cities in the Gambia, which was a very successful event. I hope this has helped you a lot, and I hope next time you don't do this. Again. Okay, thank you. If I meet up with that guy again, that Iber, he will never embarrass me again. I hope so. Okay, that was a short skit on Gambia independence. When do we celebrate our independence? 18 February 1965. Oh. That was a short skit on independence. Thank you for your time. Who has a point for us? When those in inside, when the Shaban moon strikes 29, the Muslim side the sky to find, the Ramadan new moon approaches. With taqwa blessings and good hopes. So if they side the moon will pass and when it's loud, it's loud. From seven before the ten, the moon of fasting and cure end, the moon we pray the Torah we, the moon for the moon of forgiveness and tranquility. Now we fast and live our nourishment. If you are fasting, play it cool and don't respond to every fool. But if somebody disturbs your vibe and fasting twice, I reply. In Surah Al Baqarah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ya ayyuhal lazina amalu kutiba alaykum musiyamu, kama kutiba ala lazina, min kabilikum lallahu dattakum. 
oh, you who believe fasting has been prescribed upon you, just like it has been prescribed upon those before you, in order that you may achieve Allah's consciousness. Taqwa. Taqwa has an SP. Taqwa. Taqwa has an encyclopedia full of meaning, subhanAllah. But in the nutshell, it's developing the correct relationship with Allah, fulfilling your duties and obligations. Know that there's only one God, and that He, subhanahu wa ta'ala, is most worthy of all your love. He created everything and has knowledge of all things. Who never assign for him a partner and be dutiful to him. And know that when you sin, you must return to him. And, and remember, by holding on to the rope of your Lord, it will only lead you into Jannah, the place of every pleasure where you shall remain and stay forever in the company of the best people, skills have ever measured. Oh, Habibti, know that Allah has rights upon you and I, and first that you establish your salah and never let it go until you die. Have the courage of your saver. Never back down from what is true. Defend what you believe even when the whole world is out for you. Have the knowledge of Aisha. Become a scholar of this deen. Cure the people of misconception because ignorance is a disease. Have the honor of your face. Make the world treat you with dignity. And when they see you on the streets, let them know that you are a queen. Have the piety of Hafsa. Always keep Allah upon your mind. Fast the days and pray the next night to have your nafs stay in line. Nafsi, nafsi, can I ask? Do your friends encourage you to fast? Or are they just there for last, like the devil on his behalf? Every day is a battlefield, so treat taqwa like your army. Have the strength of Sumayyah and the sabr of Hajar. Be steadfast like Maryam, who was like Musa's mother. And when things get tough, be like the wife of Firaun. Attach your heart to Al Jannah and never let it go. Because sweet you are to me, like Fatima to an Nabi. May Allah bless you, Sakina, from now until eternity. Amen. Learn everything to make this the finest Ramadan you ever had. The devil loses and we win. Edward Isaac Job, a poem on Ramadan. Next, we invite the B boys. <laughs> Principal, distinguished guests, uh, teachers, and my fellow students. We, the B boys, are here to recite you a poem entitled Coronavirus. Please listen. Thank you. Sometimes in history, there occurred a mystery. That mystery cares not ever Her Majesty. With all face marks, protective shoe, and glove, none could resolve. That was Ebola. Ebola dead and gone. Corona born and born with guns. Guns firing bullets of fatigue, dry cough and high fever. And many more bullets attacking and killing the sick within six weeks. Since 2020 for the Gambia, days gone, weeks gone, months gone. Now 2020 is done and gone. Please, Corona, leave our arena. Install some shame. Nyaka jump, get done and gone like your 2020. Let us go to school, you fool, with you tool against our cool pool tomorrow. Ya muna dool, it wouldn't work. Please go and let our parents go to work. Work for against your mess in our cities, not even New York City you have spread. You just don't care. And who cares? We, we care. care. And you shall be cured. Cured Care. not to heal and live, but cured to get sick and die. It's our plan against COVID-19. Let's adhere to WHO measures as our bullets against COVID-19. Together we can. Yes, we can. Fight COVID now far in his coffin to the flight to Jahannam, but Dimbako and Fuma and Nopalako and the Red Chakol pieces. Then, then we shall, shall rejoice in peace and celebration, celebration and jubilation against, against medication and education medication. 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 Together with How do we call them? B boys. They are the B boys. Let me have. <laughs> we all came on this app for our purpose, and before we die, we must all leave a good legacy behind. Good afternoon, every good morning, everyone. My name is Matilda Drame, and I'm here to recite a poem entitled For This Day. What have you done for the day your body is laid onto a bed of dirt, mud, and clay? In a hole that is cold, dark, and gray. Six feet deep, only to be locked away. As your family gathers outside to pray, they say their goodbyes and cry until they can no longer stay. They say their goodbyes and cry until they can no longer stay. Until you come to realize that you are now all alone in the brain. The silence sinks in until you are suddenly faced by two angels who sit you up in your place, asking, Who is your Lord? Who is your prophet? And what is your faith? 
what will you say? For the day the trumpet is blown and our bodies are raised, out of our graves and onto the plain, barefooted and naked with nothing to cover our shame, what have you done for the day a mother abandons her young, a father will flee from his son, and everyone will panic and run as though they are drunk, but they are not drunk. Rather, the punishment of Allah is severe. For the day our gifts will be read, our books will be dispersed, and our deeds will be displayed, every major, every minor, every action that was made, and even if it was an atom, it will be written on a page. For the day all is leaked and all secrets for the day all is leaked and all secrets are for the day all is for the day all is revealed and all secrets are leaked. Every major, every minor, every action that was made, and even if it was an atom, it will be written on a page. For the day all is revealed and all secrets are leaked. Our lips will be sealed and our limbs will speak, bearing witnesses of all we used to weep. For the day the fire is brought near, causing all of mankind to drop to its knees, tremble and weep, begging God, please, if you just take us back, we'd be of those who obeyed. For the day paradise is brought near, towards the pious, towards the sincere. For them is no sadness, for them is no fear. For them is a life of everlasting happiness and cheer. So what have you done for this day? day. For the day an oppressor will bite on his hand, scream out loud and say, How I wish I had taken with the messenger away. How I wish I never took so and so for close friends, for they led me astray. How I wish I was of those who are bad. So what have you done for this day, a.k.a. the day of judgment? the day of regret, the day of recompense, also known as the day, the day of regret. So if you hear this word, I urge you to stop and reflect. Take a moment to pause and make some amend and ponder over this question again and again until you reach the very end. What have you done for this day? Independent, self-dependent. It's not the pen and paper, not the fingers on keyboard, not the voice on the mic, but the heart and the mind. The nation, we are the blood and power. Powers from education, from education and production solutions. Solutions for knowledge against ignorance, for wealth against hunger and imputation, for health against death and deadly demises. But are we independent with our higher and highest education from education and consumption now within the palm of our colonial matters? See, days are gone and memories remain, and I doubt if their remains are resting in peace, for their homework is yet to be submitted. See, days before 1965, February 18th, a cool war of wisdom against the kingdom of Britain was set by a team of five. None of them was up to 65, but their hearts and minds were older than 65 towards 95. Then at Britain in a hall and on the wall, guns were dropped and the tongue was the trigger to fire our blades of sensible and peaceful words of wisdom. And then the Gandhi, she was convincing the smiling moments of joy. Up to date, she smells the smiling coast of Africa. The Gambia was born in the spirit of determination and self-esteem. Mandin Koluku, Jesito Katun Sain, Nanfosatal, Conte, Momlin Sunibop, Nelen Bole Pe Achala Don Ben, Ni Isni West like a bicycle bumper was the spirit wheel of independence and the first Gambia. The Gambia was born in the temple of never again and the faith of reparation and reconciliation and this. This is not TRRC against APRC. This is operation against human rights, democracy, and independence. This is calling the spade the spade before letting the bygones be the bygones. This is scratching upon the never healing wounds for the bacteria still itches within the contamination. This is marking the wrongs and rectifying the corrects and correction through the nation's written constitution. Then close the book and open a new page for the Gambia, our homeland, for the Gambia, ever true. Good morning to you all. I am Fanny Thank you. Okay. That was all that we have. We know we have more, but because of time constraints, this is what we could present to you. 
We hope you love it. I cut down my English now because English is my second language. So I'm going to speak in Wolof. So come to me, Torokei, New Sea School, right? My name is Nagirin. My name is Nyan. Can someone translate? Yeah, I'll try. Okay. We are so happy. He's so happy uh, with the school and then he's praying and appreciating. Yeah, I want to welcome Kevin Washington from the United States. Um, Murray, what's your last name again? I'm sorry. Laura, welcome. Wow. We can tell me who got give him Hadijai. She is appreciating the guest, uh, Mr. Kevin. Kevin, Auntie Murray, and Auntie Hadi. And Swing uh, Dalal Kadri, Fast Binjo. And Auntie Binjo, their host. Okay. Contact me, Toro, because Nyun, Ling Bugamoy, Gien Halei Tei, Gien Amelie Yomi. They are so happy because what they want is yeah, you, the younger ones, to be the leaders of tomorrow. Because Loyo Dava Am, so, Swing Lian Amut Tei, Yen Gien Gite Yomi, Yomi Dumuna Dem Kanan. Because that's very important. If they don't have you today, then they won't have some future leaders of the country. 